hey guys hello and welcome to my channel TSG so in previous videos we have completed uh, how to register or sign up for Microsoft 365 today I am going to take this session towards how to add or remove users in Microsoft 365 let me take you to the demo class okay so uh, once completed the registration we were on this page in the previous video we are logged into our office 365 account now uh, on the home page you will see all the services which are available in your license you can see on the left hand side you have the office online applications then you have outlook because you have a mailbox and then you have this admin tile here so for adding and removing users we first of all need to go to admin center here on the admin center we have users tab on the left hand side and we need to go to active users so guys this is the page where we can add or remove users or you know manage I would rather say manage users because all the actions which are taken on the users can be done on this page all right so adding a user first we will uh, cover adding a user so we need to click on this button here add a user okay first name user one I am going to add here so this would be the first name of the user last name display name so you can change the display name to anything then you have a username option here so uh, it's not mandatory that you need to have a user one here in the email this username would be the primary email address of the user so you can select anything just like the first name and the initial letter of the last name so this is how we uh, generally consider creating a username however uh, some people use uh, the full name the first name and last name here so you can consider the the practice you are following in your organization for creating emails and then you can create user here so this will be the primary user principal name of the user in office 365 So I would rather go for uh, creating a password myself. So if you want this user to change their password when they first sign in, please keep this box checked. Otherwise you can uncheck this box. Then if, if you want the notification email for this password, please check this box and enter the email where you want the password to be sent right I don't want it right now so I'm going to uncheck it or if you don't want to create a password and you want system to create the password just click on this option to automatically create a password let's go next now here comes the option to assign the license to this user if you already know which license is to be assigned to this user please select this option otherwise you can create a user without assigning any product license so as of now I am sure that I have Microsoft 365 business premium and I want to assign this license to this user otherwise I would have clicked on this radio button here so that the user will be created unlicensed this is how it works as I'm clicking on next here so user roles so if you are creating a user without any admin access then you can select this radio button that keep this user as a user in this organization if any admin access is required as of now you can select this option we will discuss about the administrator roles in a different video however right now I'm just uh, telling you how to select if you want this user to manage exchange just give them exchange access here if you give them global administrator they, they, these this user will have access to all the admin centers in the office 365 
so if global administrator role has been given no other admin uh, roles need to be assigned to this user because this user will have access to all the admin centers so guys here for this particular test user i am going to just click on this uh, user button here because i don't want to give any admin roles to this user okay finishing part just review all these uh, options here that what all roles you have given the password you have set up the display name username whatever information you have provided for this user please review here and then click on finish adding okay it's just taking some time to add the user and now it is completed all right we are closing this section here and let's see if this user reflects in our user section here so we are in users active users please remember we are going to home page we are clicking on this admin tile here it's taking us to the admin page then we are going to users active users and then we have this list okay let me just refresh the page All right, so the user one which we created is here. We assigned the Microsoft 365 Business Premium license while creating the user. So that's reflecting here. So this is all about adding a user. Guys, if I want to remove this user, I just need to select it here and then just click on delete user. All right, so select these options okay we are not going to give any so let's discuss about these options okay email aliases will be removed as of now we did not add any alias to this email no mailbox delegate permissions found so these delegate uh, and the email alias options are grayed out here because we did not have any of these now uh, this is about the onedrive access so if we are going to remove a user then we need to give another user access to this user's onedrive all right so email also if you want to give this user's uh, mailbox access to another user then this is the option otherwise if you don't want any of these let's go ahead and delete the user guys please remember if we delete the user from here the user will go into the soft deleted items i would say if we want to permanently remove the user from office 365 we then need to go to the deleted users list here you can see the deleted users here and then we need to remove this user from here otherwise for next 30 days the user will be in this deleted users section for the safer side i would uh, rephrase it that if you delete a user the user will still be available in the deleted users for next 30 days right so what i'm going here is that uh, i have selected here but uh, you can see there is no delete item or uh, delete user option here guys there is no option in the gui to delete the user so we need to connect to the office 365 powershell and then remove the user from the deleted users that part we will cover in a different uh, video however uh, this was just about adding or deleting users uh, from office 365 so we definitely will cover this part deleting users a uh, uh, permanent delete users uh, in one go we definitely cover this part in the powershell classes However, as of now, let's just learn about adding and removing users from Office 365. So guys, if you have any queries about adding or removing users from Office 365, please mention those in comments. Subscribe and uh, like the video if you like it. And please, please, please click on the bell icon so that you get all the future notifications about Office 365. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time.